Breakers Golf Academy located here in Limerick, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to take a look at proper grip. I have a lot of students that are mentioning to me, uh, you know, exactly where should my grip be. I'm really not sure. Okay, so there's some certain things that have to happen. And we've talked about this before in pre-shot routine and things of that nature. So what we want to think about is that the grip really has to be in a natural position. Your hand has to be hanging naturally. And if you take a look when your hand hangs, if you look at my left hand here, my thumb actually hangs towards my body. It doesn't hang straight down like this. So that means that that grip is going to be, or that thumb is going to be about one o'clock on the grip. Okay? So, so what's going to happen then is when I set up to a grip and, and grab a grip here, my thumb is going to be going down, not directly down the center, but a little bit to the right of the grip. Now, the reason why that has to happen is when I get to impact, I want the back of that hand to be facing the target at impact, okay? And that's going to represent the club face, the back of this left hand, and it needs to be flat, okay? So what we're going to look at first here is where it needs to go in your hand. So what I like to have you do is just hold your hand vertical to the, or I mean uh, horizontal to the ground, okay? So if I take my right hand and do that, hold it horizontal to the ground, I want the club to kind of cross my hand at a 45 degree angle. It's going to go right across the base of this pinky here, and it's going to go right to my index finger. So if I'm doing that with my left hand, and we'll take a look at my left hand, and I set that right in my left hand, it wants to go right at the base of my pinky and it's going to cross the index finger of my left hand. So now it's right really in my fingers and I'm just going to let my thumb just fall straight down. Now what I want you to notice here is that my thumb is very even with my index finger. Okay, That's going to allow me to have a space here Okay, in, in my grip so in other words so that I could get a finger under there so it's not in my palm. That's going to give me a lot of hinge action at the top and really create some leverage and be able to create some lag. My other hand is going to match this now, okay, just like this. So, so I want this hand to come in as if it's clapping hands. And again, that same angle right there, and my pinky's going to go straight down there, okay? Now, what I like to see, this would be a 10-finger grip. I like to see it to be like this where it's an overlapping grip because that makes the hands passive and it allows them to actually uh, be, be kind of not one hand dominating over another. It really will keep it right in front of your core so that when you, when you go back here now, it's real easy to square the club face up as you rotate your body and get that left hand flat to the target, okay? So once again, let's take a quick look at this. All right, right across the base of those fingers at a 45 degree angle on the left hand. Grip it with thumb down. I'm using the shaft here so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Right hand, same way. It's just going to move right in there. Clap like you're clapping hands at that same 45 degree angle. If you take a look at the thumbs here, they're just kind of almost one behind the other. Okay. They're both on the same side of the grip. We don't want that happening where this, this hand is kind of taken over, okay? So if we look at it like that, okay, we want to see that both of those Vs are kind of aimed the same direction. Not like that, because that's too strong. So that's really a good position to be in, okay? Um, as, as for how far the, you should choke up on it, just about a thumb joint should be to your pinky there. Okay, so hopefully this will clear up some issues on grip for you. And um, if you have any questions, please leave a post below and let me know what questions you may have so that I can either do a video response or just do a, do a, uh, a normal text response. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching Power Breakers Golf Academy. We're here to help you take control of your game and, and really we're just here to help you. So thanks so much for allowing us to do so. And we'll see you next time.